Hello, my, my name is um, Dr. Ken Kavami from the University of Arkansas. What I'm sitting next to here is a ground penetrating radar. Um, what this, this device does, um, it sends microwaves into the ground. And as the waves go down, they, they reflect off of um, things that are buried. So whenever there's a, a discontinuity, something different, we get a wave that comes back to the surface and it's recorded. And, uh, and as we move the antenna, it's a small box across the surface. It's continuously sending um, uh, waves into the, the subsurface. We send about um, 40 per linear meter, roughly a yard, uh, into the ground. And it goes down, right now I have it set for nearly 3 meters deep. And on the way down, it reflects off of everything it hits. And so what we get is we pull this along a line is a, a profile of reflections. And those reflections uh, indicate stratigraphy or natural um, changes in the soil and sediments. They indicate uh, buried rocks, tree roots, stones, uh, ancient floors of houses, hearths, storage pits, whatever uh, is down there, basically. So we. we run this transect. We, uh, right here we're running them about 45 meters long. Uh, then we stop and move a half meter over and then run it back. And we go back and forth all day until um, huge areas are covered. Right now we're doing 90 by 90 meter space um, every half meter. So um, it, it, it basically it's blanket coverage of this whole space and then we can uh, slice that profile down and create plan maps at whatever depth we want. So we could do a plan map at a half meter, one meter, a meter and a quarter, or whatever, going down and, and we could see where things are buried then. And what we anticipate finding here are um, basically native Arikara houses uh, near the surface and deeper down older Mandan houses because at the site the Mandan occupation was earlier than the Arikara. Over on, on my, uh, in the far distance there is uh, an orange box. That's the actual uh, radar antenna. And it's, they're rated by frequency. That's what we call a 400 megahertz. And um, so that, that's a, a, a medium frequency one. And it's pretty ideal for archaeology. We could go, uh, we got good data all the way down to maybe four or five meters, depending on soil. And then behind, uh, the orange box was a wheel, and the wheel controls the uh, location of the, of the antenna. So out, out of that box, the energy goes down in a, a small cone, um, and it reflects off of all the, the buried archaeology. And then we have a long cable that connects to uh, the actual computer that runs the radar. And what we see on the screen is a, um, a bunch of stripes, because right now the, the antenna is not moving. And that's, that's showing the reflections at that point in the ground. And we can see uh, there's a surface reflection and then various um, layers it's reflecting off. And, and because it's not moving, it could be just a rock, um, a rodent hole, or, or maybe a, a house floor. And we have on, on, the, on the far right, and if you could, could see this, is a sine wave. Uh, that actually shows the strength of the reflection. So if it's a uh, a real sharp difference, there's a, a large reflectance. If it's just a small difference, it's, it's a, 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 a lesser reflection. Um, this is unit is made by Geophysical Survey Systems Incorporated. It's called the, the SIR-2000. It's an older model now. It's actually an ancient because it's about 10 years old. <laughs> uh, there is a newer system out that I also have access to, but it's on another project now. So I'm using this one here, and it, it works just fine. So uh, I just have a, a basic control console with all these keys that can control the system and tell it how deep to go, uh, how to record the data. There's a, a hard disk in this. It records the data onto a hard disk, which I download to a computer in the evenings to make a map of what we found. Okay.